goose. Usually it's airplanes. Anyway, scrap it's back. We're gonna do a video. And I just rolled up on this thing. Check this stuff out. No idea. Audio Design Associate Suite 16. That looks expensive. I don't know if it works or not, but the outside's aluminum. At the worst, if I end up scrapping it, but it's definitely something I will check out before I do anything stupid. What is this thing? A big old power strip. That's actually probably a really good one too. See, there's the airplane. There we go. Geese and airplane. M-8X Furman. It's probably a, a decent one. What else is in here? Professional control processor Creston Pro 2. Always makes me worried with electronics when there's no HDMI on it, but if it's audio stuff, I guess it wouldn't, right? All right. So we got that one. What else is in here? There's some big sucker right there. Huh. Coax. Or some kind of router or something like that. Take the circuit board with it. Another one of those Creston Pro 2s, whatever that is. Long time ago, my dad was in the high-end electronics business. He was a, like a national sales rep for Audio King, if anybody remembers that, around the Twin Cities anyway and he was an Alpine rep and Motorola rep, stuff like that. So when I was a kid, I had some pretty uh, pretty sweet electronics in my car before anybody else even knew about that they existed. Another tune suite, HD radio. Huh. But anyway, just the stuff's come a long way. I'm not a techie guy, but... Um, Pretty amazing how far electronics have come. Let's see how much is this thing weighing. Not too much. Hell is that, or heck is that, sorry. Well, this is HDMI on it. Some kind of, another one of these Creston things, or Creston, or whatever, but man, that looks expensive, doesn't it? So that's coming with us. And it looks like we got the receiver and something else down there. I'm gonna have to grab my hook to get those things. Audio design associate something or other again. Put that there. That's some kind of a DVR or something or other recording thing. It's heavy. Oh, security thing. Might be a security. Feels like it's got a hard drive in it. Feels heavy on this end. Huh. And last is this guy. Let's see if I can. Get it. Yeah, that's some kind of receiver. It's got a big old feel a big transformer in the corner. Integra. Get off my sleeve. Some kind of uh, receiver, I think. We're definitely gonna have to check that stuff out before I do something stupid like take a hammer to it, right?
And I'm happy with that. I will take that for sure, because at the minimum, there's some good circuit boards on those things. So, all right, let's go to the next thing, huh? Now, this stuff, I have, belongs to this place over here. I've talked to them before. They say, whatever, do whatever you want. If it's want, if it's sitting out here, they don't want me going in the big recycling thing here. So if the wires are easy enough, I just grab them up here quick. But they don't really care. So we'll do that. Quick. And I don't sit here too long and clip every little tiny wire off the thing because you'd, you'd sit here for three days doing it for $2 worth of wire. Get the big clippers and get these off in big pieces here. But you get the idea kind of. So we're going to go on to the next one here in a minute. Well, while I do this and uh, we'll see what we get. A little handfuls of wire out of there though, that ain't bad. Ooh, ground scrap, I'll take that. Look at all that stuff. They keep adding to it. It's um, obviously they're not throwing it out. I'm sure those guys scrap it up, but it's just, this is all aluminum, cast aluminum. All that stuff. And then those big chunky transformers and wire and ballasts and they don't throw a whole lot of good stuff out. But every once in a while they leave me a couple little scraps here and there. Like that. <laughs> He's so Hey, hey. <laughs> it all adds up all right, but I always come and look. Put me a few things down there. Some cast aluminum light fixtures. Oh, that one's all full of glass. I'll pass on the one next. I'll pass on the glass. That's an empty piece of Romex, by the way. Yeah, looks like about it down there. I'll take what I got. Those are pretty easy to clean up. Just a couple of screws. Well, we got something fun in here. Look at all that. Look at all these nice pieces of wire these nice people left for me. I just love it when people leave me wire. It's so nice of them. Oh, come on. Maybe it'd help if I had my hook set. Hook pointed the right way. That is Cat 6 wire. Cat six on the label. If you're ever wondering why to fig how to figure that out, you get. I mean, there's cat three, cat four, but nobody uses it anymore. I don't think. Cat five and cat six is what you're gonna find most of the time. But you can't beat this stuff. Seventy cents a pound, I think it is right now. I haven't checked prices in a while. I've been kind of stockpiling in my garage. I just haven't uh, had the time to go to the. Scrapyard. I can only really go in this, to the scrapyard on Saturdays because I work full time, and um, it's just been one thing after another for the past four or five weeks. And I haven't really been able to go, so it's just kind of piling up in my in my garage. I have a little old thermostat. Take that. And I 
I think. Oh, a nice little, nice little lead acid battery something's gonna leave me. That's nice. Non-spillable lead acid. Make sure it's empty. Yep. Okay. Those little batteries can give you a wallop if they're not empty. <laughs> I've found that out the hard way. Ah, nothing in there. Make sure nothing's on this side. Do not see anything else. A little piece of crappy wire buried in ceiling tiles down there. I ain't going to worry about that too much. That is a shin buster right there. All right, let's go on to the next thing, huh? Let's go. <laughs> What's going on, turkey? Oh, he doesn't want to talk. Let's see. That's my best turkey call. Not very good. Oh, he doesn't want to play. Let's stop scaring him. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Empty. Let's see what they got in here. Oh man, I thought that was copper. <laughs> Big old plastic tubing. Looks like some kind of beat up sign. A bike down, way down there. A whole heck of a lot else, huh? There's kind of some heavy something in here. What is this? Get them hooked on. Let's bring it down here where I can see what's in here better. Looks like some kind of tablet case. that is. There's something in there. Gram safety orientation videos. We'll pass on those. Some kind of remote. We've got a power cord. Lap, laptop bag kind of type strap stuff. Man, that's all nice and tangled in there. Yahoo, huh? Some more cords. Another little remote. Those little remotes, I actually look them up online. You never know on those things. They're pretty easy to look up. Almost, that, almost all of them have a model number on the back. Sometimes they're worth some money. I was hoping whatever that, uh, whatever that laptop was that they were in here, that was for some little old otter boxes. Well, shoot. So much for that, huh? Let's make sure nothing else weird is down here. Of manuals and stuff. Mounting hardware screw kit things. A soaked first aid kit. Hmm. Well, I had a little better, a little higher hopes for this. Man, that seems like a shame to throw all that out. Oh, wow. nice wasp's nest right there, or beehive, or whatever that thing is. It's kind of a shame to throw that out, all that wood, but I guess it's their wood, right? Oh, there's another bike. Hmm.
that looks about it, boys and girls. I got two more dumpsters to check, but they're usually not very good. Um, so I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here unless something terrible happens on the way that I wanna show you. But got a little handful of cords to go with the rest of the stuff I got. So if that's it, that's it. Thanks for watching my videos. I will show you real quick those audiovisual things. I'll look those up when I get home and I'll show you right now. If that gives you some idea of maybe what they're worth or something. I don't know. I gotta if they are worth anything, I'd have to plug them in and see if I can get them to work. I'm really leery about selling high-end electronics. Most people don't throw valuable high-end electronics out unless they don't work anymore. But it does happen sometimes. Anywho, we saw that. I guess that's it. Thanks for watching my videos. We'll see you guys again soon. See ya.